There are some contemporary Chun glazes, actually quite a lot of them, um, where people use that term for oxidation glazes. That's fine. I, you know, for me, th that's another discussion as to cultural appropriation of the name. They'll use them for cone six and cone 10 glazes that are just phase separated. Oftentimes they'll add copper into them, but actually it's to get the blue green color because copper and oxidation is green and then the phase separation is blue. And so you'll often see these have this, th this name of Chun. It's just trying to mimic the ancient Chinese production glaze, but you know, it's all in good fun. It's all just making different phase separated glazes. The other type of glaze you may have heard of is a Nuka glaze. Nuka is a Japanese tradition of phase separated glaze. And again, a lot of times people have this really different perception that there's something really weird going on here because a lot of Japanese glazes will use ash, like wood ash or plant ash in their recipes. And they'll think, oh, that's something really different. Yeah, plant ash is just silica and alumina and calcium and sodium generally. It's all the same stuff that all of our regular materials are made out of. It's just coming from a different source. And I think Japanese potters have a different philosophy about the use of ash, like it's sort of needed. It's not, there's nothing wrong with it, but I can totally make glazes using ash that are phase separated, like a Nuka. I can totally make glazes using ash that are just transparent, like a, a normal glossy glaze. So there's nothing really all that special. That said, there is a ton more to know about phase separated glazes, but we've got to go deeper into the subtlety of the chemistry for all of that. 